Good morning. Welcome to worship on this fourth Sunday of Advent. What a blessing to be together as we inch closer and closer to the birth of Jesus. Please be on the lookout for the Zoom link for our Christmas Eve service, which will be at 4 p.m. Uh, this week. And we look forward to seeing and hearing one another as we celebrate the birth of Christ together. Also, just a programming note for you. Next week, we will be celebrating the lessons and carols from last year's service. So it will be a nice break for you all from what I feel like has been the Martha show. And it'll also be a well-needed break for all our um, folks who have been here week after week to make sure that we can bring worship to you. Let us now begin our time of worship with the canticle of light and darkness. We look for light, but find darkness. For brightness, but walk in gloom. We grope like those who have no eyes. We stumble at noon as in the twilight. If I say, let only darkness cover me, and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as day, for the darkness is as light with you. Blessed be your name, O God, forever. You reveal deep and mysterious things. You are light, and in you is no darkness. Our darkness is passing away, and already the true light is shining. It has been a blessing this Advent season to have different people here to light the Advent candles. And so I give thanks for Lynn Sellers, who is lighting the candles today. that shines on all people was coming into the world. We light the fourth Advent candle as creatures eager to meet their creator. The word, the life that was present in the beginnings is coming down to us to make God known. Jesus, you are the light of the world. Our gospel for today comes from the first chapter of the book of John, verses 1 through 5 and 9 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, 
And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now enter into a time of prayer. Again, we continue to thank you for your gifts. Continue to be grateful for all the generous hearts. This week, as we celebrate Christmas, think about what gift you truly want to give the Christ. Let us pray. Oh God, we have journeyed with you this Advent season. We see the light, and yet we still feel a bit far off. Help us to understand what it means for you to be the Word and to be made flesh. Help us to understand what it means for the light to shine in the darkness and how we can be that light to those. We come to you with those things that are still upon our hearts of which we are sorry for. And so we lift up to you in this moment our prayers of confession knowing that whenever we come to you with truly open hearts, you hear and forgive. Let us be in the moment, that moment when you were born and when the angels came to the shepherds to sing of your beautiful birth. May it not be just a story, but something that we embody, something that we live, and something that we seek to bring to the world now. Thank you that you call us your children. Thank you that you never leave us alone. Thank you for being our Savior our Emmanuel, our King of kings, and the light of the world. In all of this, we pray to you, remembering that very night that you were born. And so we pray together as you taught your disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now we have a special treat. 
many of us have so missed seeing the children, have missed the choir, have missed the beautiful sanctuary as it is normally decorated for this time of the year. So now we bring to you the Christmas pageant from last year, thanks to Lisa Sutherland and Laura Adnacio and all their tireless work they have done over all the years. Let us enjoy this time. Dude. In the very beginning, before anything else existed, the word Jesus existed, the word was with God, and the word was God. All things were made by him. He was the creator of all things. Now, I want you all to think back. Excuse me, you started too far back. What are you talking about? That's where the story starts. It will take too long. We'll need to go for Moses and Noah. It will take too long. All right, everyone, listen up. We have big news. The big guy wants us to deliver a message to Earth. Now, I'm going to need one of you to go down there and... No, 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 no! What's the matter with you all? Don't you know how important it is to deliver these messages from God? After all, who knows what would have happened if no one had gone down and told Mary that Jesus was going to be the Son of God? I won't go down there. <laughs> Those people are crazy. <laughs> These messages are important. What would have happened if no one had told Mary about her son? How did they do it? God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to Mary, a virgin, pledged to be married to a name, man named Joseph. Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Wait, what? <laughs> you will give birth to a son, and you're to call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. He will reign over Jacob to save his friend forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? I need to be Joseph. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow, overshadow you. So the Son of the, so the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even your Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a, have a child in her old age. Nothing is impossible with God. What did Mary say? I am the Lord, sir. May it be to you. 
What about Joseph? Joseph was very troubled with the news that Mary was with child. Then an angel came to him in a dream and explained to Joseph that the baby was from God and he is to give him the name Jesus. Um, could we get all angels? Could you go sit with everyone who's not, you know, the lesser people? Can you just come down here and sit with everyone else, please? Yeah, come down. Joseph, being the line of David. No, it's the Caesar Augustus. Yes, I is. At that time, Caesar Augustus decreed that census be taken. Hear ye, hear ye. The Emperor Caesar Augustus, my personal friend, has issued a decree for the entire Roman world. A census will be taken. You must return to your birth town to register. Thank you. Joseph, being the line of David, was required to go to Bethlehem to register with Mary. Joseph traveled all the way to Bethlehem. They arrive to find that the city is crowded with others that have come for the census. They find a great difficulty finding a place to stay overnight. Good madam, do you have a place to stay for me? No, our rooms are awful. Oh, okay. Um, do you have a room for me? 
I'm sorry, but do you have a social security card? And I need two forms of identification. I have none of those. <laughs> do you have one room, just like one like tiny room for us? No, I'm sorry we don't. However, we do have a, a couple of cots we can put in the hall for you if you'd like. And uh, normally the charge is one denarius, but for you it'll only be a half a denarius if you'd like. I'll take your deal. Okay. All right, well, Good. here you are. Thank you. Do you have room for us? No, I wish I could help. I'm pregnant too, and hey, I don't want to hire you. Must be. <laughs> Yeah, for us. I'm sorry, we were all out, but you look like you've traveled so far. I think you should keep looking. Thank you. My wife Mary and I have traveled many miles. Do you have room for us? Wow, you look pretty tired. Are you pretty tired? Well, I'm sorry to say that uh, we we don't have a, we don't have a room. Uh, however, uh, and the problem is it's Christmas Eve and it's, we're just filled up. So. <laughs> So, but however, in back, we do have a stable. And if you'd like to go back there, uh, you, sure, you surely can. It's pretty warm back there, and there's some, there's some good hay back there, and it's fairly close to the back door. So if you should have any problems, please knock the door, and of course, there'll be no charge. Thank you very much. You're welcome. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son, 
She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger because there was no room in the inn. There were shepherds in, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks. shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. We bring you good news of great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Messiah the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and good.
When the angels had left and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go and see this thing that the Lord told us about. And found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they have heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Kings also came bearing fine gifts.
When the wise men reached the manger, they saw the child and his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So it was. The heavens rejoiced as the, as the world was born anew. On this day, God presented his only begotten son, gift of love and promise of peace that the light of Jesus would shine brilliantly within us all. So you see, that's why one of you needs to go down and share the good news. What good news? What good news? We need to remind everyone of the story of Christmas and the gift of peace that still lives within us all. Let's all go down there as the heavenly host. Just like they came to the shepherds. Let's go now. And so, uh, and so the world may hear the great news. And, and rejoice in it. Amen. Amen.